For today's Sanity Saver move, we're going to do one of my absolute favorites for the up lower body, but you will get some upper body activation as well. It's called Tush Trimmers, and it's a variation of balance that's really effective for working from the waist down. So let's first get in alignment, toes forward, not too far apart, softly bend, hand on belly, lower back, big inhale, exhale, belly button up and back, tighten buttons, inhale again, exhale, stretch to get those ribs up, shift weight back, and off big toe. Now there's two ways you can do your hands for this. You can just press onto your hips. I don't just rest them there, but press to help you get that ribs up and tummy and even more. You're more neutral spine here. You're not tucked really tightly, but we're gonna stretch it up a little bit without straightening the knees. The other one, which will get you more upper body activation, lat activation in arms is mitten hands down low right here in the back of the hips there and press and press down just a little bit. Thumbs off and, and if you can, have your first finger off as well to get those lats activated. Elbows back, tummy tight, really helps the core stay activated as well as well as those lats. We're gonna shift over to your left, knee is out, pigeon toe in the right. We're lifting from our hip. It's a little tricky, but you can get it. So big inhale, exhale, press those hands in the pockets and lift and touch. And then we raise the left heel and lower it. Just raise and lower, but try to press into the floor a little bit to keep that ankle stable. Ready, inhale, exhale, here we go. So lift and touch, lift heel back down. Lift and touch, you're lifting from the core. Lift and touch, heel up, back down. So we step, that foot that was just lifting, step, step, shift, right knee out, pigeon toe left, ribs up, inhale. Exhale, one, two, three, press and lift, touch. One, two, three, press, lift and touch and lift that heel. We forgot to first time. Lift, touch, lift, heel back down. Lift, touch, heel. We're gonna do one more so we can get that heel action in us. We're gonna help the heel as well, help the ankle to get more strong, get stronger and more stability. Step, because that's the leg we were lifting with, step, Step, shift, left, and pigeon toe right. Here we go. Lift and raise heel lower. Lift and heel. Lift and lift that heel. Tie to the side and do that core. So step, 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 shift right, and pigeon toe left. Whoo, lots to think about. Get those ribs up. Lift that side and up with the heel. Lift to the side, up and the heel. From that core, press those pockets. Last time this side. And little step, 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 now this foot comes back, kind of forming a, a T with a heel to the instep and shift forward. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can get an idea of what it is. Again, lifting from the hip, not just lifting the leg back. Are you ready? Keep that core, here we go. Back and heel up and down. Back, but keep that knee out. Back, press into the floor a bit, back. There you go, now this foot comes forward and step, step, step a little coordination there and the other goes back, get your balance. Knee out, knee out at all times. So straight back and heel up and down. Back from the core, press into those pockets as you lift that leg back. Here we go, step, step, step. It's gonna hit every side of those legs and back and lift that heel. You're working every bit of the core and all the way down. And I lost count, so we'll just call that four. And step, 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 back. Last set, so straight back. Press into those pockets, and three, and back, four, and back, and left heel. Step, step, step. Now let's challenge that balance a little bit more. So to the side, and lift, side, and heel up, side, and heel up, side, and now we come straight up. Yes, you can. Get those lats, pull those toes up, and step, 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 shift right, and pigeon toe left. Here we go, last set. Lift to the side, lift that heel, side, and from that core, side, press those toes, side, and straight up, yes we can, Woo keep that in balance, two, three, four, step, 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 you did it, did you stay standing, did you get a little mixed up, go through this a few times and you'll start getting the, the sequence, the cadence, and boy, you're going to feel it all the way around. This is the way to blast those hip pads, the glutes, the thighs, inner, outer, the ankles, getting get rid of those cankles, and even helping with piriformis and IT band. And you're still getting an arm workout and lats all in one move. A little bit of cardio, too. <laughs>